Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new series on Risk of Rain 2, the 1.0 release. The game's finally out of early access, and I'm very excited to check it out again. It's a third-person shooter roguelike playing here today in co-op with Wanderbot. I have, I have very, very little experience with this game, so know that going into the video here, this is a post-recorded thing, just kind of like a heads-up disclaimer thing. Uh, Wander's played a decent amount more than me, but, you know, pardon, pardon my stupidity as I totally don't know uh, much about the game. I didn't play a ton of Risk of Rain 1, learning about Risk of Rain 2, uh, basically over the course of this series here. So hopefully you'll be friendly and show, you know, some support by giving me friendly tips and tricks instead of angry back seats. But check out the series here. I had a lot of fun playing this game. I hope you guys are interested in the series. Okay. Okay, so we're on Rainstorm? I mean, difficulty. is that okay? Or should we go to Drizzle? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's fine. Uh, it really, it's up to you. Rainstorm is probably fine. Uh, okay, we'll see. This game's hard. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. We can, we can bump it down. We can always bump it down. I need to take a minute to even remember how to play <laughs> I love oh, okay I'm into it already yeah oh boy Seems better ish better ish yeah I look at I, you. I don't know I I had played a whole lot of this back before they uh before they updated how regen works originally when this game launched it actually had really bugged regen uh and it actually made everything a lot harder uh, with like an update. Because originally everybody had crazy high regen and then they're like, oh yeah, we should turn that down. Like every character and or every then, enemy? Uh, every character on every difficulty. Okay. So like even on the harder difficulty, so you got your HP back pretty quick. And they changed that. And all of a sudden I was like just dying constantly left and right. And it's like, oh, I'm not really enjoying this anymore. So I'm curious how how they've changed it. Well, clearly we're the best at the game. I mean, like, look at all these guys we're killing. What is the name of your weird half-plant, half-robot character uh, here? You know, I Dave? totally forget. Dave. Uh, it's Dave. I man. was looking up its, uh, pro not programmer art name, but effectively uh, the name in the files is completely different from the actual name in the game. And so all I can remember was like, nope, I can't remember it at all. Yeah. I... I forget. Rex. There we go. Rex. Which, right. I'm not sure where Rex comes from. This is... I would not name this robot Rex. I'd name it Petunia. Petunia? That's a good one. Oh my god, I don't yeah. know what any of these do. Wonder which of these items is good? Gas can, okay. horse hoof, okay. or the key? Gas... <laughs> uh, the horse hoof makes you run faster. I'd recommend that one, probably. Yeah, I was kind of the figuring key... that one. The key makes it so you can open up these boxes that show up on the uh, on the map. Oh, okay. So it's literally uh, just a key. They're like free treasure chests, but only one shows up per... Uh, whoops. Ow. Uh, oh. Only one shows up per uh, per map. So it's useful, but you have to kind of go hunting for it. And I'm always super shit at finding it, so I never bother. Okay. Uh, okay. And the gas can makes things set on fire in a vicinity uh, okay. when you kill like a creature. I guess I could probably really pe I could have actually pieced those together. I'm just so used to I've been playing Neon Abyss and they seriously just throw a dart at a board <laughs> for what it, what the yep. item looks like and what it actually does. Those all that's all pretty pretty logical. Could have figured. Yep. So, I remember there's like a there's a gate. Do we need to go and find the gate? Yes. So easier to find it now if you look for red sparkles kind of floating around. Uh, there will be a a teleporter that we can activate there that summons the boss wave. Okay. Uh, oh, that's right. Probably that's go right. move towards. Yeah, I was gonna say because doesn't it, kind of it, it slowly gets harder over time the longer we stay somewhere, yes. right? So the goal is to kind of like uh, run around and collect stuff before you move on. Correct. And so if you look okay. at the top right, we've got a timer and yeah. a difficulty meter. I can't jump this. Uh, you can timer do it, and a difficulty meter, and <laughs> uh. And so the longer the run takes, the higher that difficulty meter gets. And it keeps scaling. Like, even, it'll eventually get up to ha, 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 ha. But <laughs> that that's just because they didn't want to come up with more names. It still gets harder. It's not like you hit some weird cap. Ooh. Okay. Flat damage reduction from all attacks. That's a new one. I like that. Yeah. Sound, it sounds, it sounds like a good one. Oh, my God. 
So yeah, I, I feel like I my character is super basic. I'm seeing you exploding into plants and stunning guys and poisoning or something. Uh, and I am yeah, man who shoot good. <laughs> uh, yeah. But okay. That that doesn't mean you're bad. No, no, that no. Just means all the other guys are weird. I I picked man who shoot good because I feel like when you don't know what you're doing, just playing something that doesn't have complicated mechanics baked into it. So you can learn the complicated mechanics of the core game is generally the way to go. Yeah. Man who shoot good and <laughs> Huntress are probably the best two. Huntress is a little squishy, but can shoot while running. Ooh. Ooh. I think that's what it was. I think that sounds that I, sounds right. I like the, hun I'm, the Huntress is more mobile at the very least. I know I'm talking that's like I played answer. none of this, but I did play probably like six hours and I just forgot everything. So I think I did I think I remember her. So, is there a reason to not just open up these chests? Like, uh, lack of money, just open, lack, open that, everything. That's it? If you okay. got the money. If you got the money, uh, open it. If okay. you got the money, pop it open. Right. Uh, let's see. Okay. And, the, like, the the thing I've always thought about being very risk of rain is don't the, the passive stack on each other, right? So, like, you, yes. you're going to get a lot of the same item and they just slowly kind of, like, level up as you get more. Yeah, I think for the white items, there's no cap. It's just kind of a flat scale. Same thing with the green items. Uh, it's really the, the red items that don't scale that well. You're really supposed to just get one of them. They're like legendaries. Uh, yeah, they used to... It, it's different, because uh, I know in Risk of Rain 1, there were a lot of hard caps for certain items and not others. So, like, one of the strongest items in the game was a... Uh, one of the strongest items in Risk of Rain 1 was barbed wire, of all things. Okay. Which would make it uh, so, like, eventually you just have a damage aura that hits the entire screen. Ooh. And that got really silly. There, there's, like, a lot of ways to get, like, game breaky feeling builds in the original Risk of Rain, right? Yeah. It's a little RNG dependent, and because you're just kind of getting a giant smattering of items, it's hard to have a specific build. Uh, but, like, with the, uh, I mean, you saw it earlier, the chest where you can actually, well, kiosks where you can choose multiple things. Yeah. Uh, so only one of us can, can pick of from determine. there? Okay. Yeah. All yeah, right. so we are, I'm not going to say we're competing for item drops, but. We'll probably also, like, you know, not be able to buy it all, right? So gold will kind of uh, help us. Depends on how long we divvy it. stick on a level. Okay. So. At this point, I'd actually say we are taking too long and should go hit hit the uh, the portal. Don't I know it? <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, so I'll, I'll go grab that real quick. Okay. Whoop. How many how and many levels you start are finding there? Finding items that are ooh, crab funder. Damn it. Oh. It's it's not great. Doesn't it take uh, money to do something? I I know there's a yeah. Uh, I, th what yeah, I'm going to so know you... about these items are largely going to be from there is a mod item collection for Enter the Gungeon that takes all the Risk of Rain items and puts them in the game. So that's how I'm going to know this stuff. <laughs> oh. Wandering Vagrant. Okay. Okay, so Wandering Vagrant does a couple of abilities. Uh, when it starts glowing, you want to hide. Okay. Just behind any anything I can hide behind? Yeah, just as long as you break line of sight. Uh, and it'll be like a pretty bright glow. Okay, I'm just getting completely grabbed by 200 boys over here. One second. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, right. wasn't so bad. But no. yeah, uh, it does like an AOE Nova. I, I think, think I remember it, it killing everything. me in the past. Yeah, it's, it's deadly. I think on, uh, especially on harder difficulties, yeah, it gets real bad. Or if you're real squishy. Oh, cool. these are kind of bad. Should... Eh. Maybe. Is there? Are there headshots? No. Okay. Good. I don't. I don't <laughs> think the heads so. Heads are so small on some of these things. Thank God. Ooh. I don't. I don't think you can shoot for any kind of weak points. Okay. I'm fine with that. It works in some games. Yeah. In this game, it's kind of more... It's too messy. Yeah, it's it seems more systems-driven than a, a normal 
you know, first person shooter, third person shooter. <laughs> it's not synthetic. It's not synthetic where <laughs> like my hands would be burning from how many times I've fired my gun. And then I'd get a I'd get a call from the loved ones of all the people we killed. It's not that realistic. <laughs> oh. All right, hitting the teleporter. Bye, bye, boys. All right, this game's easy. Except yeah. we probably took too long, but Currently. still, it's too easy. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. We get we get faster. the The trick with timing is you have to figure out kind of the halfway point, uh, where you've got like half the chest left to grab because if you notice money does not carry over between, yes i just uh, was about to ask wow yep. okay that's very important to know huh yep. okay so uh the reason the reason why i mean mainly for balance so you don't just speed run everything uh let's see but all unused money gets turned into exp at the end of every every level so okay. it's not like it's not that bad yeah but you generally want to like hit the teleporter before you've bought every chest uh fight the wave then you go buy as many things as possible you don't want to like go too fast because then you don't get enough but you don't want to go too slow because then you have like a bunch of money and no items to buy sure what's what's the difference between the color of the little things on the ground between the blue and the orange is there a difference uh, or is it just because i saw there was an orange blue. one over there i didn't know what's what's better blue or oh. orange uh, so the blue chests have just kind of regular item drops. Chances are you will get uh, one of the many passives. The little orange one here has yeah. an active item in it. Ah, okay, okay. Mm. Eh. Not yet. Not, have not yet. I'm not big brain enough to use an active yet. I need to figure out how to <laughs> how to shoot good. I need to help man who shoot good shoot good first. Ooh. Just want a lot of passives. Uh, just make the number bigger for now. Yep. I That's one thing I always liked about uh, Risk of Rain, is that it's all mostly just passives. The actives, you don't need to... They're not, like, make or break most of the time. Yeah, okay. So you can just kind of pick up everything, and then you're good. And you're you can done. only have one, or one active? Yeah. yeah. Uh, there are... There is an item that lets you have two, okay. I think. But it's not normal. Okay. Oh, boy. No. Uh. Also, a very no, not relevant at all. What happens if I die? <laughs> Do uh, it. So can you, you bring die, me back? You're just knocked out until uh, I can't revive you, but I have to beat the boss. Okay. Thank you to the next level. Fresh meat. Huh. That's a new one. It's a new. Is an item. Yeah. So new item I haven't seen before. Regenerate HP after killing an enemy. Which I mean, kind of no brainer, but that's pretty cool. I'm into it. Yeah, I've always felt like Risk of Rain 2 had kind of a dearth of healing items. That's part of the reason why I'm playing Rex, because he's got, like, a very distinct... Who's Rex? Petunia? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, he's got a very, uh, heavy... Woo! Wow! I'm here! Uh... Rex has a lot more healing than most of the other characters. Not the most mobile, but can heal self. Can heal self. Okay. I got a mask that makes me sometimes make ghosts when I kill enemies. Ooh. Happiest mask? Yeah. That's good. Oh, Beetle Queen. Uh, yep. Oh, I found... Beetle Queen is probably the easiest boss. Oh, man. Don't say that yet. Say that after we win. <laughs> it's the number one rule. Say it after we win, otherwise I'm gonna I'm gonna die. Oh no, we're gonna lose a lot. Okay. I... Okay, good. Oh my god, these guys are really not letting me breathe. And a lot of enemies. Oh, I did get the ukulele. I was paying any attention. Oh. Okay. I can't believe I made it out of that. Ghost! Oh, it's a ghost of the guy I killed. That's really cool. Yep. That's and so cool. And so he'll just sit around and fight. In the first game, at, at the very least, I think it was like every enemy you killed or something goofy. It got really ridiculous mm. really fast. Is uh, is the Beetle okay. Queen? Oh, there she is. Let's say the hell is she? Yep, she's over here. She's not... 
that hard. Okay. I think you want, mostly want to just stay away from her front, but I kind of forget. Ooh. Don't need to tell man who shoot good to not get close. I shoot too good to get yeah, close. Yeah, because she does... She does an acid volley. Oh. Oh. Yep, there is. Oh. Is there a melee character? That seems... Uh, there are three? Wow, there's okay. There's Acrid. Uh, there's Acrid, there's the Loader, and there's... Uh, let's see. Acrid, the Loader, and the Mercenary. Wow. Let's see. So we don't actually want to get out of here. Ooh. You like this one? Beetle okay. guard. Yep. Nice. More friends. So now just buy everything on the map. The more expensive stuff, uh, the more expensive chests have a higher chance of having, I think a guaranteed chance of having like one of the green items spawn. Hey, oh, they changed how razor wire works. It's now retaliation damage instead of just an a AOE that just kills things. I like that change actually. Am I stealing the majority of the items? Oh boy, I am. <laughs> what is this? Th the 3D printer? What? What's happening? I put okay, in 3D printer lets you trade items at the same level. Uh, oh, so okay. if you say really want to get a whole bunch of, uh, like one specific. If you thing. want to get a whole bunch of one item, you can go up to it and trade uh, whatever items that you currently have. Okay. And is the the thing that it shows floating by it, the th like yeah. what it gives you or what it takes? Uh, that's what it gives you. Oh, okay. 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 Just crap items. I'm finding it. no chests. I have a feel <laughs> feeling a certain certain Durbo has got to a mall. <laughs> <laughs> I I did not realize that I was taking uh so many. There's one expensive chest over oh. here. And a choice chest as well. Okay, okay. So, one here. Move fast out of combat. Oh, dream item. Yep. Irrelevant That's in combat, I don't care. I will just love to All move right. fast. Uh, glasses here give you crit chance. The turtle gives you a shield. And the other one gives you a shield. The turtle is slightly better, but I'd recommend the glasses. Yeah, big number. Sounds good. Big number. Big number. All right. Oh, yep. I f I'm I'm loving how fast I'm moving. Oh, that's nice. Yep. And I imagine those stack too. <laughs> oh no. Yes. Uh, so there there is a certain point where you actually will not want to grab those because you start yeah. moving too fast. That's what I was gonna uh, say. But you're usually grossly overpowered by that point in the game, so it doesn't matter too much. Uh, chest up here. Four more debuffs are marked for death. Oh, that's a new one. By the way, if you want to look at any of these at any point and see what they do, uh, just press tab. Oh, hey, look at that. Hmm. Let's see. So what white items do you have? Eh, no, you got good stuff. Yeah, the double bullets make it so you do more damage to bosses, which is pretty good. Yeah, it sounds Let's nice. See, how much money do you have left? I got 400. 473. Chance to bleed on hit, too. Mm. Yep. I think that might be everything. I could be wrong. Yeah. I'm fine okay. going. This ended up a little bit more balanced. I still have a lot more than you do, though. I don't. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm just trying to stay alive and shoot. That's my goal for this first run. Stay alive and shoot as best as I can. If I'm, if I'm doing a lot of damage, cool. I just want to feel like I'm aiming right. That's step yep. one. Oh, that's the other reason why the Huntress is good. Uh, Huntress is auto-aim. Oh. Oh, let's see. So, I will admit, usually when I play this, my strat is kind of to run around somewhat. Uh, fighting things, but mostly just focusing on finding chests and killing everything in the way, instead of like staying in one area and fighting for a while. 
Yeah. I mean, it seems like that might be, like, the idea. It's sort of what it yeah. feels like. Which is definitely, definitely something to get used to. Like, always being on the run, like, away from enemies. Well, it's like a kiting game. It's interesting. Yep. It's kind of neat. Especially... Because if we don't have, if you don't have infusions, your HP usually kind of scales poorly, and uh, enemies eventually get to the point where they they can one shot you if they're close to you too uh, for too long. No oh boy. It's a friendly fire. I did not ask that. That's a it's a common. Not normally. Uh, so there okay. there is. There is a f friendly fire mode, and I will want to try it at some point. <laughs> uh, so there are, there are things called uh, artifacts in this game that change kind of how the game is experienced. Oh, okay. uh, so, like, one is command mode that makes it so uh, you get to choose all of your items, which is probably my favorite. Wow, so yeah. So every time you go up to a chest, instead of instead of it just being a random item, you can say, like, I want more tri-tip daggers. And that it is gives you one. very fun. That is a it very is very fun, fun idea. and can get very broken very fast. Oh, I imagine. Uh, it's fun. It's an option, though. Most games are just like, yep. no, my integrity. I can't give you a mode like that. Yep. That's that's uh, that's great. See. I wish more roguelikes would do that. Yeah. Oops. But uh, the only reason why I don't want to mess with them is, you know, they'll they'll change how this game plays. Uh, but there is specifically an artifact that gives everything friendly fire. You, oh, boy. me, our enemies. <laughs> our pets, probably, too. Probably, yeah. Oh, boy. And I'm a little curious about if it would be worth it, because I want to see, uh, I want to see the enemies just destroy yeah. themselves. The bosses just completely get beat up by a bunch of their babies. Yeah, exactly. Rebelling against mom. I don't want to clean the dishes. And then they just take them down. Oh, uh, let's see. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm, I'm taking one. I'm taking yeah, one. Go for it. Obtain Renis resonance disc charge that fires. Wait, what? Wow. Oh, wait. Went away too uh, quick. Charge uh, by killing enemies, charge fires by killing when enemies charged. Fires automatically when fully charged. That sounds cool. Is it new? Yeah, I've never seen that one before. Whoa, you're getting all the red items. Yeah, the game feels sorry for me. They say you're not, if you're not getting anything. We're at least gonna make the stuff you get good. Yeah, it works. It's a, it's one way to balance it out. I pr it probably isn't actually doing that, but. Where, you, where are you? Where the heck are you going, scrap armor? There we go. That actually works better than I thought it would. Uh, let's see. I'm probably going to go activate the teleporter. Do it. Let's fight a punk. Because at this point, at this point, we've been here for a little while. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm not doing very much damage. Unless these guys are supposed to take a while to kill. I feel like I'm kind of weak. I, yeah. Uh, I think a lot of your damage is wrapped up in kind of occasional things, like the mask. When when you get, when you ah, sorry brain, when you kill things, you get the the mask ghosts, which help, and you also have that disc. Mm -hmm. Okay, Clay Dune Strider is pretty basic. Uh, just fire stuff at you. Just keep moving. There's two of them. That's less fun. Uh. But when they get hurt after a certain point, they'll uh, they'll kind of go back into their pot and uh, start sucking oh. you in. Okay. I'm probably going to die. There's a lot of bad boys over yeah, here. Yeah, just run away. Just leave. Oh, no. Nope. Focus, focus on other things than the boss. Oh. Nope. I'm too bad at the video game to do that right now. It's fine. They're just like I was trying to do the boss a little bit. I just don't know the. Uh, I don't know if you're supposed to focus down the boss or focus down the ads. Just don't know. Because uh, I was so as soon as either. you summon the boss, I had like ten boys on my back still. I yep. didn't know what to do. Uh, so focus firing the boss is 
probably what you want to do, just because once he's dead, they don't come back. Same mm -hmm. thing with the enemies, in fact. Uh, so the, uh, as the timer is going, eventually once that timer runs out, it actually won't spawn any anything else. It won't spawn any new enemies, too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's why we had a quiet moment yeah. afterwards. Oh, that's a new one. Mired Urn, siphon health from nearby characters while in combat. Ooh. Uh, nearby that's new. Characters? Yeah, so yellow items are the one classification that only drops from bosses. And they're kind of nice. It looks like I'm I'm actually pulling off of my uh, my beetle guard as well. Ooh. I wonder if you pull off of me. <laughs> I I'm a character. That's a little concerning. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's probably the most value I could provide to the run today is just to be a juice box for you. <laughs> I, that's, that's a bad. Uh, let's see. By the way, if you want a character that is objectively, I'm going to say not easier, uh, but t generally, generally easier, the engineer is pretty good. Okay. I'll take a look at them after this one. Because with the engineer, you almost can just dump your turrets and then not do anything and just run around. Mm. I, I have three characters unlocked. I don't know if I... How do you unlock the characters? Okay. Uh, I, Various things? For characters. Yeah, so this character, for example, all you have to do is find his escape pod in the next level. Because uh, he crashed in the wrong spot. Uh, Acrid, you have to go into this like weird nether void that I've forgotten how to access. Okay. Um, All kinds of ways. Trying, trying to think. It it varies. It will actually tell you if you look at the character. Yeah. Uh, it'll tell you how you can get them in kind of vague terms. <laughs> look at all the items. All right. Look at all them items. It seems like. Do do I not get the experience for going to the next level now since I'm dead? Uh, like, from I the think gold? you'll still get the exp for how much money you have. Okay. Yeah, so you're not you're not totally screwed. Okay. But Just it is semi screwed. It is a penalty. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I wish well, I guess actually there's a very easy way for me to balance this. Uh which is I'm just gonna start popping open chests in the next zone and uh just letting you pick up the items off of them. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll be worried that I'll just throw them in right in the gutter. I think maybe some survivability <laughs> things is what I just need. I don't think I have any of that, really. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, it's worth it. Spawn an ammo pack. What is an ammo pack for? Don't you have infinite ammo? Uh, so ammo packs drop uh, from killing enemies, and they will reduce the cooldown on your abilities. Oh, okay. So some characters have, like, a longer cooldown, 15 seconds or whatever. And so by picking up those ammo packs... Uh, gotcha. You get it much sooner. Gotcha. Man, this is... <laughs> I've, ne I've never felt so inept at a, at a roguelike. Oh, boy. Oh, what? Yeah, okay. Magma Worm, just right off the bat. That's not a boss, it's just a guy who exists? Well, that is a boss. He just spawned for some reason. Okay. Wow. Boy, I hope I don't... <laughs> I just don't, don't want to die immediately, that's all. I just... Run and avoid. Everything is on fire. Yeah. Oh, I got a ghost lizard, so all is well. Oh my god, that, all right. that ghost item. I'm well, that was that a surprise. One. Yeah. Big chest for you. Uh, let's see. Actually, I'm going to snag this one in this case. Okay. It's it's the red whip. You already have one of those. Okay. Stacking them is nice, but it's not going to make or break. Sure. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll just do whatever you say. Oh. I think you can totally steal my life. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what just that's happened. That's hilarious. I guess stay away stay from Stay away. Me. Yes. I will do that. Do my best. Why is it? Like, the core theme of every game we end up playing is friendly fire. Friendly fire. It's the core unanimous always there thing. Right. Item on the ground. You can have it. All right. Ooh, rapidly heal outside of me. That sounds perfect for me. Right yep. about now. 
heck is uh, let's see. Shrine of the Woods? Is that like, if I remember correctly, isn't that something about changing the boss at the end or something? No, I think Shrine of the Woods makes you heal. Oh, oh, the shrines do different things. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Shrine of the Mountain is the one that uh, changes the boss around. Ukulele up here. Uh, let's Ooh. see. Yep. That gives you a occasional chain lightning attack. Okay. Oh, game, when I know what half of you do, you're toast. Right now, I'm like, see health bar, shoot health bar. That's where I'm at. It works. It works. Kind of. Oh. I do feel like I'm just tickling him. So how many uh, how many more levels are there in a normal so normal run? I uh they've changed it. I forgot they added this level. Uh, let's see, what are you? Ooh. Uh, scythe. Yes, there's a scythe here, all the way up here for you. Right. So the scythe gives you Ow. uh <laughs> gives you a life steal based on crits. Did you fall? No, oh, I'm dead. Oh oh no. Well, I will be uh, yep. right after you. No, I didn't fall. You stole my health, <laughs> and I guess I should have stayed by you a little bit longer. It's okay. Give you more. Now I get to judge you. Oh, boy. I promise you will not be the only one. I'm going <laughs> to die right here. Uh, let's see. The other thing I can do, by the way, if you do want to have just access to everything, I can give you my save file. I don't know how much uh, you care. I don't know. I'm like, uh, I care sometimes. Can you Can you have multiple save files? Uh, yes. Then, you can have then yeah. Profiles. Maybe I, if I cared, I would save for like, uh, I would have a fresh one for single player. That's a probably. Oh boy, you really messed up, says the chat. <laughs> <laughs> you really messed up. Darn, it is. It is very true. We did decently well, though, all things considered. Yeah.